Hi, I'm Terry McClure, an analyst with Enterprise Strategy Group. Thanks for joining me today to discuss storage requirements for virtual server environments. In early 2008, ESG published the results of a comprehensive survey of 706 global IT decision makers regarding their current and planned x86 server virtualization initiatives. Based on this research, ESG concludes that server virtualization, in other words, using software to divide a single physical server into multiple isolated virtual environments, is driving significant technology and process change across storage, disaster recovery, and management environments in enterprise organizations and small and medium businesses alike. Server virtualization technology is driving demand for network storage solutions due to the net increase in storage capacity requirements brought about by server virtualization initiatives. More importantly, the ability to realize many of the key benefits of server virtualization, such as the mobility of virtual machines between physical servers for load balancing, high availability, and maximum utilization of resources, fundamentally requires an underlying network storage infrastructure. But supporting a virtual server environment introduces a number of storage challenges. First, with multiple virtual machines hosted on a single physical server, chances are that the associated applications have differing storage policies. This can lead to some pretty complex storage provisioning exercises as storage is logically mapped and provisioned to each virtual machine. And then there's the performance aspect. The storage infrastructure must provide predictable performance and predictable scalability for the wide variety of mixed application workloads the virtual machines will drive with a variety of I.O. patterns, for example, small, large, sequential, or random operations. Now let's consider that virtual server data protection methods, which are often drastically different than traditional physical server methods, need to be designed and tested. Consider the implications of supporting backup and recovery on a single physical machine that supports multiple virtual machines. Kicking off backup for one virtual server can spike CPU usage and starve the other machines of resources. And when routine maintenance is performed, instead of impacting a single application environment, multiple application environments are affected. And ESG has seen in the tens and twenties, a few edge cases even higher, numbers of virtual machines sharing a physical server that need to be taken down or moved. This is really where the importance of network storage comes in, keeping applications available during everything from routine maintenance to disaster by enabling virtual machines to move from physical server to physical server without losing access to data. Something that's impossible to do in a direct attached storage environment. In fact, these challenges, challenges can all be mitigated by leveraging network storage technologies like Nexenta Systems, Nexenta Store technology. At its core, virtual machine images are files. Storing image files on NFS-based systems like Nexenta Store simplifies image management significantly. It removes multiple layers of storage management required in a block-based environment. Let's take the example of provisioning capacity in a fiber channel SAN environment. For fiber channel SAN, a storage administrator needs to carve out and assign LUNs to each virtual machine hosted on the physical server. Then it has to establish and manage switch ports and zones, HBAs, set up multi-pathing and cross-mounting the appropriate LUNs and zones to multiple physical servers to allow the virtual machine portability. There's more, but I think you see where I'm going with this. That's pretty complex and error-prone. It's a manual process, typically tracked in spreadsheets that, become, that can become even more difficult time-consuming and error-prone as capacity is added and the environment needs to scale. Each time capacity is added, the whole process needs to be repeated. And when you consider the implications of each virtual machine having different protection requirements and performance characteristics, figuring out what LUNs are supporting, which virtual machine to ensure the appropriate timeliness of snapshots, or perform load balancing can become nearly impossible at scale. On the other hand, in an NFS environment, once a file system is exported to a virtual machine and mounted, it travels with the virtual machine across physical servers, maintaining the relationship. And to add capacity, file systems can be expanded on the fly with no downtime. And because users are managing information, a file system for each virtual machine, rather than a collection of HBAs, LUNs, and worldwide names, overall management is simplified. So provisioning capacity is much simpler when you treat VMDK files as files. How about NFS for data protection? The snapshot and re remote replication capabilities of file systems are often used for improved recoverability. With network storage, multiple copies of virtual machines can be created, stored, and accessed for replication and disaster recovery purposes, and they can be used to more efficiently perform bare metal restores. To alleviate the issue with backing up the virtual machine, the backup load can be shifted from the physical server 
to the file server, leveraging snapshot copies to meet recovery point and time objectives. Here's where some of Nexenta Store's unique functionality can come in handy. For File Restore, Nexenta Store has an integrated search feature which enables users to find the required snapshot amidst the many that may reside in the system. Now let's dive into some of the other ways Nexenta can deliver added value for managing storage in virtualized environments. Nexenta Store has some added benefits through its integration with VMware's ESX and Citrix Zen server. Through its VM Data Center 2.0 module, which is integrated into the Nexenta Store web GUI, users have a single point of control to manage all storage-related aspects of virtualized servers, up to and including seeing what virtual machines are running and what storage is associated with each virtual machine. Through the single console, users can perform common virtual machine tasks, such as starting and stopping virtual machines. Users can also set storage policies, such as scheduling snapshot frequencies and backups to ensure recover point and recover time objectives are met. While there is tremendous value in having the integrated view of the server and storage environment for both physical and virtual machines, perhaps the most valuable aspect of VM Data Center is the ability to use templates to clone virtual machines, to speed the process and reduce risk, allowing users to ensure consistency in the virtual environment. Since Nexenta Store is built on ZFS, it leverages ZFS snapshot capability to create clones that, basically, don't take up any space. This cloning process doesn't use CPU resources or take up any additional disk space like VMFS does. VMFS basically performs a read-write operation to create an actual physical copy of the VM. With Nexenta Store, VM cloning is fully executed in the storage system itself and Nexenta Store clone is copy on write based, so the only extra space it takes up is if there is a change made to the clone. Effectively, you can create tens, in some instances we've even seen reports of over 100, completely consistent clones in roughly the same space the original copy consumes. As virtual desktops start to gain widespread traction, users will find Nexenta Store cloning capability compelling as they deploy a greater number of virtual servers to support VDI initiatives. The combination of Nexenta Store's unlimited snap and search capability is pretty powerful if clones are modified to create variants of the template. What this all comes down to is cost-effective storage management for virtualized server environments. Cost reduction is top of mind for IT across the board from both CapEx and OpEx perspectives. There are tools on the market, like Nexenta Store, that can significantly reduce administrative overhead and simplify operations. With these tools, you can build repeatable processes and best practices to realize the full capability and efficiency of a virtualized server environment and toss the LUN, HBA, worldwide name, and zone mapping spreadsheets. I'm Terry McClure with Enterprise Strategy Group. Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me.